Before we introduce our last artist of the day, I want to remind you that if you liked what you've heard and what you will hear with our last finalist, it won't be the last time you'll hear from one of them. Um, the winner will be featured tonight at the YouTube's concert, which begins at 8 p.m. and is right back here. Doors open at 7.30, and uh, we're going to feature the, the finalist uh, winner of the competition on one of the tunes, along with our guest artist, Ida Mishulam, on, on a bunch of tunes. And speaking of Ida Mishulam, he's coming up next. Uh, 2.30 is, is his master class in this room as well. Uh, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce our final guest, finalist Sam Rowley. He's an American trombonist, bassist, and producer from Slidell, Louisiana. Growing up outside of New Orleans, he was exposed to jazz, blues, soul, funk, and hip-hop from a very young age, and his love of New Orleans brass bands led him to pick up the trombone around the age of 10. Sam went on to study jazz trombone at Georgia State University in Atlanta before moving to Boston to finish his undergraduate studies at Berklee College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. During his time at Berklee, Sam studied with Dave Santoro, Bob Galotti, Tiger Okoshi, Ralph Peterson, Greg Hopkins, Hal Crook, and many others. Would you please welcome Sam Rowley. Thank you. 
Miles uh, tunes and stuff to heaven. Um, next, I want to continue and then completely just change everything up and continue with an Ambrose Agamus tune entitled Henya. Uh, tune. I just want to say like huge shout out to Nick Finzer for putting on this whole thing and giving us all this great opportunity to like just play and be seen. And just, like, so I have never, I have 
think I've ever been in a room with this many trombone players before. <laughs> and I'm not even sure if that's like legally allowed, like past like a certain cap, but this has just been like, I've had so much fun this weekend. Like, thank you so much for um, having me. Uh, I want to finish out with probably like one of the most beautiful tunes ever written. Um, like my favorite Thelonious Monk composition, Ask Me Now.